Uh, hello there. I'm Doof. And today you are going to learn how to mukbang like a true gentleman. Because oftentimes I see people, when they do a mukbang, all they do is just shovel food into their mouths. They don't truly appreciate the food that they are consuming. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to teach you guys how to mukbang like a true gentleman. Okay? And actually one more thing, when people mukbang, they make a lot of stupid noises when they, uh, when they eat their food. You know, making a bunch of noise like <coughs> No, that's not how you mukbang, man. That's not how you mukbang. So today I'm going to show you how to mukbang true gentleman style. Okay? Alright, so without further ado, today I'm going over Doritos. We're gonna, we're gonna mukbang the shit out of this, man. We're gonna mukbang uh, Doritos Blaze right here. Right there. So first of all, how do you mukbang? What is mukbang? Well, according to what I found online, mukbang is just eating a bunch of food in one time. So that's what we're gonna do. And I feel like Doritos is, uh, is a perfect example because chips are meant to be consumed in one sitting. If I ever see you rolling it up, wrapping around like this in a rubber band or whatever, I kill you. Silence! I kill you! Now, why do I say this? Well, because chips go stale. After you open the bag, it starts depreciating in value. Understand? So after you open the bag, what happens when you go back to it next time? It gets stale. And then again, the next time you don't finish it. More stale. And then eventually you just toss the bag away. So if you're not ready, if you're not ready to potty, don't get the potty size. Get something smaller. There's a medium size, there's even a really small size, man, if you can't handle that much. So know how much you can consume before you purchase the bag at your store. Okay? Alright, so let's get into it. So what are the steps? in order to mukbang like a true gentleman. So for a bag of chips, there's a perfect example. So you see there, what you wanna do first is squeeze the bag and you see like this little air pocket right here. That's what you're looking for. Why? Well, you wanna examine the bag, make sure there's no puncture, there's no holes in the bag. So that's why, that's why you wanna do that. Cause what happens if, uh, if you don't see any air in the bag? And that means there's a hole somewhere. So the chips may have gone stale, you don't know. So that's why you want to examine the bag first. So you examine the bag, the bag is good. What's next? Open the bag, of course. So what do you want to do? Both ends, squeeze, pull. That's it, just like that. Just like that, you got a bag of chips to open. Now, maybe your hands are greasy. If you have a knife or, or a, well, what, 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 what them those things called? Scissors, you got them available. You can use them as well. But I'm a man, I'm a gentleman. I don't need hardware when I am enjoying a bag of chips. Yes. All right. So what's next? So now you're probably thinking to yourself, oh, maybe I'll just go in there like a savage wildebeest and start shoving the chips down my gullet. No, that is not how you do. That's not how a gentleman does it. How does a gentleman do it? After you open the bag of chips, you must assess it. You must examine it. You must treat it like a delicate, fine lady. So what do I mean? You must go in and say, good afternoon. Go back. Pleasure to meet you. Likewise. Thank you very much. It's like going to prom or going to your first date. Introduce each other. Show your appreciation that you are ready. And she'll show it right back. Yes. So when you're examining, you don't want to do this or go into it too deeply like this. Oh, we're a gentleman. We don't do that kind of thing. 
I mean, if you breathe too deeply, I mean, it's like, it's like you just, you're a baby that just rolled out of your mama's womb breathing for the first time. No, no, no. You must treat it gently, delicate like a woman. Good afternoon. Pleasure to meet you. Okay, what's next? You must cleanse the palate. How do you cleanse the palate? You grab a chip, just like this, right here, and then you suck on it. Yes, suck on it for five seconds. Why? So the reason why you want to suck on the chip for around five seconds is because oftentimes I want to refer to the toothpaste and OJ effect. What do I mean by that? Simply put, have you ever brushed your teeth and then drank a glass of orange juice? You know what that does? You make this kind of face. Uh, why? Who knows why? But all I know is that after you brush your teeth and you drink a glass of orange juice, the glass of orange juice is absolutely disgusting. It has ruined the orange juice because you brush your teeth beforehand. So same thing, maybe you did not brush your teeth, but maybe you ate something else that has totally consumed your taste buds. So that's why you want to suck on the chip for five seconds and then spit it out. So just like this. And just like that, what do you do with this chip? You toss it away. You don't need it. So you're probably saying to yourself, why toss it away? Can't you just consume it? No. Yeah, it served its purpose. All you wanted to do was to cleanse your taste buds and maybe even rinse with a little bit of water. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Ah, yes. And make sure you cleanse with water. You don't want to mix in any other things like, um, like soda or juice that could possibly ruin the experience with the chips. And the reason you throw away the chip is because it uh, served its purpose. Um, there's no need to consume it because it's like it's like chewing on gum that's already been chewed on for hours. It has lost its flavor, it has served its purpose, it's time to spit it out. Same thing with the chip. So after that, what else do you do? Well that's it. You go out, cleanse your mouth, you are ready to embrace the chip. So oftentimes I see people eating a chip one at a time, or maybe they'll grab a handful and shove it in their mouth. You don't want to do none of that. So why don't you want to eat a chip one at a time? I mean, just putting one chip in your mouth, it just disintegrates and you don't get the full experience because it doesn't coat your entire mouth. So that's why you don't want to just chew one at a time. And why not a handful? Well, that because when you shovel all that chip into your gullet, it'll just clog, clog up your mouth and also ruin the experience. So what you want to do, Just grab around two to three chips, uh, more or less, but three should be the perfect number. So, uh, so once you put it in, don't chew and just swallow right away. Chew for 10 to 12 seconds. Move it around, left of the cheek, right of the cheek, bottom, top, back to center. Hold, take a deep breath, release. That way you get all the flavors. So just like this here. Oh, that's one. Oh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That way you get all the flavors. The jalapeno, habanero, garlic, onion, splash of honey, and a ginger kick for the finish. You get all of that when you take all these steps to enjoy a chip. So just keep doing that. Take a few at a time. Chew, deep breath, release, enjoy. So this is how uh, 
So this is how you mukbang like a true gentleman. Now you know how, go do it. You can do it! But actually, you know what? One final step. One final step that I feel is very important uh, if you wanna mukbang like a true gentleman. So the final step, what you wanna do is actually to turn the camera off. Why? A true gentleman does not show and tell. A true gentleman keep things private. A true gentleman does not record themselves eating. Okay, so I'm going to enjoy the rest of the chips. So I'm gonna turn the camera off now. If you wanna see more, please subscribe. And uh, just remember, Muck Band like a true gem.